what's up? Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Yo, I, I saw Draymond Green on first take today, and he did his normal routine talking about how he's going to come back from averaging a triple single and how he's going to dominate the league and the Warriors are back and they're this, they're that. Okay, typical Draymond Green, I'm the best nonsense type of talk, okay? Which was normal. But then he said some stuff that I kind of questioned, you know, and I started to wonder, like, what's really going on? Okay, he started talking about LeBron. Then he said, you know, LeBron's arguably the greatest basketball player of all time. And then he said, his, if you look at his resume, it's flawless. Listen, man, I don't know for the love of me, what is Draymond Green and LeBron James' relationship. This is the same guy that's been arguably rivals with you for years. This is the same guy that beat LeBron James um, many times. Granted, he's not a better basketball player than LeBron James, but he played on a team that gave LeBron James L's year after year in the finals, okay? And that will forever be on LeBron's resume. So how's your resume flawless? when you lost more times than you won, you know, on the biggest stage, okay? Now, I'm not one that go about caring about finals records that much, you know, because we didn't start talking about that until LeBron came along, you know, making an NBA finals record. So I'm going to pass that. But the flawless resume count, you act like, Draymond Green act like LeBron averaged a triple-double multiple seasons. Westbrook beat him to the punch with that, all right? And he act like LeBron James is undeniable the best basketball player in the world when it's not true. You got Kevin Durant, you got Kawhi Leonard, and you got the Greek Freak. Three guys that play the same position as LeBron James, jockeying for his spot, okay? There's no clear-cut best player in the game of basketball, I don't, I don't care what ESPN says about, you know, they're going to rank LeBron number one, this and that. You got to prove it at the end of the day. If LeBron keeps taking L's to Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard, you got to put those guys over LeBron James at some point. You can't keep losing and then say this guy's the best basketball player in the world. It don't go that way. You know, LeBron James, is, if you ask me, is on the outside looking in. He hasn't won since 2016. So you have to reclaim your spot back as the best player in basketball. It's as simple as that. That's how this game goes. It's about wins and losses, man. And greatness is judged upon on what you did in your career. And, you know, so even guys like Dennis Rodman and John Sally, they played on the, the Bulls in the late 90s, right? They would tell you by blood, they Detroit Pistons to the core. You never seen them on their knees jocking Michael Jordan, saying Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. Even if they feel that way, they won't keep constantly telling you that because they they are at the end of the day the Detroit Pistons, all right. And it's just some things they just won't admit when it comes to Michael Jordan. Even though the Bulls lost more times to the to the Detroit Pistons, <laughs> excuse me, compared to the Chicago Bulls beating the um, that same team, the Pistons. But keep in mind, even when the Bulls lost to the Pistons, Jordan was still the most unstoppable force, still the best individual basketball player on the floor. And that stuff counts a lot sometimes, too. If you're not the best basketball player in the world, I mean, uh, if you are the best basketball player in the world, you have to make your presence and your impact be felt on a basketball court, even if you win or lose. All right. Yeah, and that's something Jordan did. I'm telling you, Jordan was the best player in basketball since the late 80s. All right. Late 80s. He was the best uh, player in basketball. And then he was the best basketball player all through the 90s, you know, for the whole decade, basically. So I don't know if LeBron promised Draymond Green a spot on the Lakers. Maybe the Warriors, if the Warriors kick, Le, um, kick Draymond Green to the curve, LeBron James would be there to pick him up. But Draymond Green, you play on the Warriors, dog. Okay? You sitting there backstabbing your own teammates for LeBron James. I don't get it. Kendrick Perkins, you won a championship with Paul Pierce. Shouldn't you be backing him up more than backing up LeBron James, a guy you played only 18 games with? What is wrong with these guys, man? I mean, 
did LeBron James sneak some money on um in their bank account or something for them to to be on their knees worshiping that guy like that? You know, LeBron James is a great basketball player, top five all time. I will never take that away from him. But when you start making claims like his resume is flawless, no, it's not. You know, even Jordan's resume isn't flawless, but it's flawless when you count the biggest things in the world, you know, like actually winning, you know, on or performing the highs on the biggest stage, you know, because he never lets you down on the biggest stage there is, you know, rather you like Jordan or not, he still came through every time on the biggest stage, you know, and he didn't have to rely on, he didn't have the narrative relying on a big shot by Ray Allen or a big shot by, um, Kyrie Irving, okay? Those games for LeBron James was do or die, okay? Because if those guys don't make those shots, LeBron goes home with another L on the finals. There was no tomorrow. There was no uh, next game for him to play, you know? Now, you may say, oh, well, John Paxson and Steve Kerr hit big shots, but those weren't games that was going to decide the series, okay? Those weren't games that... Oh, it, the, the Bulls are in jeopardy. They're, they're in trouble. No. The Bulls was always in command of their in the NBA Finals. It was always up. It's not like they were down. You know, they was in control of the series anyway. So if Steve Kerr don't miss that shot, let's say they lose, they still have another game to play. You know, LeBron James' situation was completely different. There was no tomorrow. So the stakes were a little more higher, but it shouldn't get to that point. You know? You should have put your foot on their neck a little more better, you know? Um, so, LeBron being a flawless record, I don't know what ass kissing Draymond Green is talking about, but, dude, LeBron James don't get a flawless resume when you get you you get three guys in this own, your own generation coming at you, you know? I can't even legitimately say LeBron James is better than those three um, spoiled fours until I see something different. Now, I... I would give him the edge over Giannis, even without, you know, earning um, a victory over Giannis. I would give him the edge over. But Giannis is coming. Giannis is on the come up because he has an uh, MVP at the age of 24 already. I mean, he could he probably wins another MVP again. And his resume is going to be stacked if he keeps on continuing at the pace that he's going. He's just going to need championships on his resume at some point. And he's always runner-up for Defensive Player of the Year. And I won't be surprised if Giannis get that Defensive Player of the Year award one day. Don't don't take that out, you know? So, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Draymond Green bugging again, man. There's nothing wrong with... You You can't be praising a guy that you're playing in the same era with, man. Your career is not over with, dog. You still got to show up and compete and play for the Warriors. What are you doing, you know? You could talk all that, I think this guy's a great the greatest of all time, whatever, when you retire, don't do it while you're currently playing in the league against a guy you have to meet and beat. Silly, man. Keep it 3,000. I'm out. Peace.